today I'm going to be talking about Left 4 Dead. Mmm, zombies. Hi, I'm Leah and I'm a gamer girl. I know I've already done a review about it, but I didn't get into too much detail in the game. So I thought, hell, why not? And also because I got so much mail from you guys, I thought I'd give you a second chance to come up with better. Mm. I've played this game on both PC and Xbox 360 now. Personally, I preferred the PC version, but that's because I believe that first-person shooters are meant to be played on PC, not a console. However, I did find the game to be quite enjoyable on Xbox as well. I really like how they made it into these shorter sections. No Mercy, Death Toll, Dead Air, and Blood Harvest. However, it really shows this game is made for co-op. Hello? Hello? <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. We're gonna- Get off! When you're playing as a survivor, you get to be one of four characters. The cocky guy who always gets killed off in horror movies first, Francis. The guy who hates his job, Lewis. The army guy, Bill. Or the college student who watches too many horror movies, Zoe. When you're playing online, not only do you get to play as the survivors, but you also get to play as the infected. I really enjoyed playing as an infected, but it can take a while to get used to. There's the hunter, the smoker, the boomer, and the tank. As the hunter, you sneak around and pounce on the survivors. The easiest way to get kills with him is when someone wanders off from the group, you attack them. It will take the survivors long enough to get back to save them that he'll probably be dead. You can tell that there's a hunter nearby by the light growling noise that they make. Smokers have really long tongues and they drag in the survivors so they can scratch and punch them. To get the most kills with a smoker, make sure you're on a high spot so you can just drag them in with your tongue. You can tell that there's a smoker nearby because they cough like a smoker. Be warned, when you shoot them, they'll explode and there'll be smoke in the air. This smoke will lower your health. Everyone bitches too much about being a boomer. I think it's pretty fun. You just have to sneak up behind them and puke on them. Yes, you're a big fat guy that doesn't get many kills, but you can get the horde to attack them and it's quite amusing to watch. Tanks are the rarest playable infected. They're huge and they have a lot of health. You can pick up chunks of cement and throw them at the survivors. But there's a meter that comes with him and you have to attack with him or else you'll lose control of him. You can tell that there's a tank nearby because the music will change and the ground will start to shake. It randomly picks which infected you'll be. Unplayable infected include the witch and the horde. The witch isn't that bad of an enemy. Just turn off your flashlight and don't shoot at her. But what's the fun in that? They're coming! You get achievements on the 360 for lighting her on fire. The horde is impossible to prevent for the most part. When you do something important in the game like flick a switch, they will come. However, they will also attack you if you get boomed on, or if you set off a car alarm or anything like that. I liked the witch, but why is she in her underwear? The main selling point of this game was that there's huge online co-op. This is great, and it's mostly because this game was such a big hit. However, more people doesn't always mean more fun. Personally, I prefer when good games are less successful, because less successful means there's going to be less people online. Less people online means less idiots online. Way too many parents that they're immature 12 year olds get this game. To succeed online in this game, you need to have communication and teamwork. However, I don't like taking orders from a bossy, stuck up, complaining 12 year old. I'm not going to open the door until everyone has their health pack. In fact, I'm not even near the door. Why the f are you telling me not to open the if I'm not near the door? Another thing that really annoyed me is lots of people online are selfish. This is expected with any online game, but there's four health packs and there's four survivors. Don't take two! Also, if one of your teammates is down, don't just walk by just because you want to get more kills. In the end, it'll be a lot more useful having that extra player. 
If you're truly going to enjoy Left 4 Dead Online, you need to have a good team that you're playing with. My overall opinion of this game. It's a good game, but way too overdone. It's just like any other FPS. I really enjoyed the different characters in this game. I liked how each survivor had a different story behind them. I also liked how there was different infected that you got to play as. I also really liked how many zombies were wandering around. The co-op in this game is really good and you can continue playing it for hours and hours and you'll continue to have fun. Now for the things that they could have improved on. There's a very small selection of weapons. There's not that many levels to play on and it makes the game very short. Most of the levels are very similar. There's no real storyline behind what happens and why there's the infected. I really enjoy knowing why I'm killing something. I wish you could have played as the witch, and I really wish that you could play as an infected against the computer. This game completely lacks being original. Because of it, I give it a B+. So I have a little update on Fable 2. Fable 2 got an award from PETA. It is considered most animal friendly video game. Yeah, it wasn't because of the dog, don't worry. The dog is still completely useless. Okay, uh, according to PETA, Fable 2 is a vegetarian's dream come true. Why? In this virtual fight between good and evil, characters powered by tofu are just as powered as their meat-eating counterparts and are more fit and attractive to boot. That makes me laugh. I'm a natural vegetarian. Fable 2 was not a dream come true to me, not in the slightest. I did enjoy the fact that my character could eat tofu, but you know what? My character was eating just as many crunchy chickens as they were tofu. So That's it for this week. Make sure you check out my website, GamerGirlsRock.ca, and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks.